my next step is to pull up the roof six inches. So I'm going to use the push-pull tool, which is underneath the offset tool because I just used it. I'm going to mouse over my roof and I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click and I'm going to start to pull up and I'm going to type in six inches. Now I'm ready to divide my roof up into making a hip roof. To start, I'm going to take my pencil tool and I need to find the midpoint of this part of the roof and this and the right part of the roof. To do that, I don't even have to do any measuring because I can just go from the end point, mouse along to the edge point of that line. And then when I get the cyan dot, I know that that's half of this measurement here. So I'm going to just do that. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag it all the way over on an axis. Notice that you can always make a mistake. You want to be on either the red or green axis. And I'm going to click. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Go to the end point, go to the edge point, drag along until you get that red, uh, the blue cyan dot. Click. Notice that it's snapping, and I'm just going to stop it here. SketchUp doesn't like it when you pull it across lines. If you are, if there is a line in the way, just click on it and then start again and keep going. But this is fine for what we need now. All right, this is a hip roof, which means that this gable is not going to be open. It's actually going to be closed with a little bit of a slant toward the peak of the roof. So we need to define what that slant is going to be. So I'm going to use my measuring tape tool to pull a guideline from the edge to show me where I need to connect my lines, how far back I need that point to be. So I'm going to pull a guideline from the edge, click and drag, and I'm going to type in four feet. I'm also going to do the same thing on the other side. So edge point, click, drag, and four feet. Okay, so my hip roof is going to come back this far. So in order for that to happen, I have to, I have to make it so that when I pull it up, the geometry will work right. So I'm going to go to the end point here in the corner, and I'm going to pull it into the center of this intersection. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to come across to the other side and do the same thing. Go endpoint and click. All right, so I'm going to select here and I'm going to select here. And oh, sure, I'm going to pull this up. Well, let's see what happens. So I'm going to use the move tool and now I'm going to start to pull it up. And it's all kind of weird there. So we have to get rid of some of the geometry now. So I'm just going to do undo. I'm going to click away from those selections. I have to delete this and this, and most likely this, and then I need to add some lines. So I'm going to click this one away, this one away, and I'm going to also this one. And I'm going to add in a line here to the intersection. And I'm going to leave it there because, well, actually, no. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to put a line here to that corner. All right. Now we can select our peak lines. I'm holding the shift key and clicking the other line. Now I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to mouse over the blue line and I'm going to click and I'm going to start to pull up. To lock it into the blue axis, it's very easy to, to move the roof peaks around. So you want to lock it in the blue axis. So I'm just going to click the up arrow on my keyboard once. I'm going to pull up and I'm going to lock it to the blue arrow and I'm going to pull up. Because we have six inches, because we raised the roof six inches, I'm going to, and I want four feet total, I'm going to type in three feet space six inches. And that should give me a total roof height of four feet. So I'm going to hit enter. And 
now I'm just going to take a look and see what it looks like. So here you have a hip roof. And when you're done with your hip roof, you're just going to erase those guidelines because we don't need them anymore. And I'm going to and I'm going to close the I'm going to close the roof and that is a hip roof. Now, you can play with how far back you want to put these. Um, personally, I I need a little, I don't like them too dramatic. Um, this is about as far back as I would want to go, actually, um, this back one. But that's an example of a hip roof. Now I have the chimney. So in this example, I'm going to pull the chimney up. But in order to do that, I have to get into the edit mode for the walls. And I have to select my chimney. And I'm going to start to pull it up. But it's going to stop there. So what I need to do is I need to get my tags. And I'm going to turn off the roof so I can see. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pull that up. And then I'm going to turn the roof back on. And we want, you always want to have the chimney a, a foot above the peak of the roof because you have to have, uh, it has to be cleared of the roof so that you can, uh, so that it can vent properly. Now I'm going to close the selection and here we have our hip roof. If you have something more complicated like a Dutch roof, please let me know and I will work with you on making that. But those are the, this is the second of two basic roofs. I hope this helps. And again, if you need any help, just let me know.